Well, Keith, it uh, had to wait a while, but when it, when it did come, it came in a flurry. Yeah, yeah, it was worth waiting for in the end, but um, yeah, went from the best start possible again to, to completely switching off. I mean, you know, again, I'm taking my place up there. I was, I was fuming with the, the way we performed for periods of that first half after scoring the goal. And, and the goal we conceded was really, really poor. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, I was angry to say the least. And uh, the gaffer said to me to stay out of the dressing room at half time. Um, oh, yeah, it was a bit uptight. And, you know, it, although he felt it himself, he decided to go with another angle, made immediately the decision after talking through the notes that I made that we needed to make the substitutions. That was fairly obvious. So, obviously, we made them, and, and it, it made the impact that you want substitutions to make. Yeah. Shouldn't have to be like that, but it was necessary and yeah. proved to be the correct decision, obviously. Yeah. Harry, you always know what you're going to get. Um, and again, his, his aerial strength and his, his flick-ons, when you play the right balls to him, as well as he can play on the ground, yeah. he holds the ball up, he doesn't give the possession away. And uh, yeah, the combination started to happen and obviously it created you know, some, some magic moments. I mean, Lewis's goal, yeah. you'd liken that to, uh, without giving him too big of a G up, to Salah the, the other yeah. week in, in the City game. So, uh, but Hector's goal was an astounding strike. Uh, Lewis's they, goal was great. And, yeah, and no, they were. His running to get that one out of that corner and get it across for Harry was phenomenal. Yeah. That, that ethic and that mentality is what we want from them. And they, we know they can do it. So we get really cheesed off, for want of a better word, uh, when they don't do it, because we know they can. OK, uh, well, I'm um, here after the East Thurrock game, which ended 4-1 with uh, Kyle Shorten fan, Alan, who pulled me over and said he'd love to have a chat. I so would, I thought yeah. we'd have a quick chat. So Thank you, how Ray. did you find the first game? A bit of a wobble in the first half. Um, I just thought that they were playing with style, uh, energy, and were threatening us. But the second half, something magical happened, which I think is in the name of sort of Pete, Pete Adonai and uh, Keith Bonus. Something was said in the dressing room and we came out, we wanted to play football. We played football and As, that was it. I mean, the, the goals that we scored in the second half, that Kyle Shorten scored in the second half, were all pretty high quality. If you had to vote for one, which one would be your pick of the bunch? I don't know really. It's so difficult to go back in my head. I need to see, I need to see the play. The play. But Harry Ottaway, Lewis White, Dan uh, Hector, um, amazing players. It would be unfair. All great goals. I mean, three of them are very high quality, that's for sure. I mean, yeah. Lewis is was slightly reminiscent of the Ricky Villa goal in the FA Cup. Absolutely. If you remember that. Yes, I do. I do. Yes, well, a long, long time uh, Tottenham Hotspur fan. But oh, well. I, I must have said too much. Well done, boys. Well done, Car Shorten Athletic. We know you can do it. You did it. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Um, Dan, you had to wait a while for the goals to come, but eventually they came. Yeah, they came, they came thick and fast in numbers, to be fair. Credit to the boys. Um, great reaction for the second half. You, uh, you got off, you know, you've got off into the habit of getting off to flying starts recently and then not necessarily being able to consolidate it. I mean, it looked like it was going to happen again for a while, but uh, what was the difference today? It's, it's, it's the first half was the same as, as the other habits. I mean... It's frustrating, it's like we're fighting our own battles at the moment, but I mean, second half showed, um, but it was the same frustrations in the first half, we fly and, fly and start again, and then we peg back behind, and then we're just in the emotions of the football game, but the boys come back, the boys showed, and we should be doing this week in, week out, and the, the difference if they took their chances today. Yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously you uh, you watched the second half from the bench, but uh, are you, you okay? You, you suffer any a knock, or was it was purely tactical? <laughs> No, nah, listen, this is football. I mean, I'll be confident enough to say uh, Pete expects a standard from myself and he ain't getting it. So, it, it, listen, my pride's been dented. I'm not going to take it personal. I'll be back. Um, no, no doubt I'll be back. It's, it's fine. I expect it. Um, yeah, no injury. Um, just a tactical change. And it worked, I think. Big shout out to H. I think Harry up top brings us a different dynamic. So, credit to him as well. And Tommy. OK, well, best of luck for next week. Thank you very much. See you soon. All right, I'm uh, here after the uh, Car Shorten Athletic East Thurrock game and we've got a number of ex Car Shorten Athletic players here today, including with me John Raffington, who was here for 12 seasons, 12, was it? 12 years, yeah, yeah, from 80 to 91. Some good memories? Brilliant memories. It's the best club, my best football memories of playing for Car Shorten. OK. And when I left Car Shorten, I realised that other clubs 
aren't like I thought. And Just what was what's it like to be back today then? It's great seeing the, the old faces and you know recounting old stories and just I think uh, when you play football with with people you you get to know them a bit more than you think you do. Mm. Um, so I haven't seen some of these guys for 30 years, 25 yeah. years, and it's like I, you know, haven't seen them for a couple like of days. Yes, like you saw yeah, them yesterday, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. brilliant, brilliant boys, yeah. And, and yeah. So did you enjoy the game today, or did you actually get a chance I, to watch I, I, any of it? I, I watched what I saw, I enjoyed. <laughs> but we're so busy talking, you know, catching up, and, you know, you, it all gets speeded up. Oh, yeah, and you, you're talking to people, and you think, oh, yeah, I remember something. I've got to go and talk to them again. So the, the game was kind of secondary, but 4-1, so... Yeah, well, you know, you picked the right day to be here yeah. anyway. Um, and, um, we're, we're probably good luck for the team. Yeah. Well, and would appear we'll so. have to come back. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thanks, John. Thanks All for right, talking no to problem. us. All right, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers.